Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how an Earth-like world can turn hostile, asking a question that also haunts our own future. How did Earth-like Venus turn inhospitable? Scientists believe NASA's James Webb Telescope could finally help decipher this secret by studying a distant exoplanet that mirrors Venus's past and possibly Earth's fate. A newly discovered exoplanet called LP-899c, located 98 light-years away from Earth, could provide insights into how habitable planets like Earth can transform into inhospitable worlds like Venus. The exoplanet orbits a small and cool red dwarf star, and its position near the inner edge of the star's habitable zone makes it an intriguing candidate for study. The exoplanet LP-899c or Speculus 2c was discovered back in September 2022. As per Space.com, the planet has a diameter greater than Earth by about 40%. Just like our planet orbits the Sun, this small and cool planet also orbits its star. Every 8.5 Earth days at a distance of 1.7 million miles or 2.8 million kilometers. The exoplanet lies very close to the inner edge of the conservative habitable zone. However, despite the exoplanet's proximity to its star, the planet is cool. In comparison, Earth is 152.07 million kilometers away from the Sun. This, as per researchers, means that even close to a star, a planet's temperatures can be mild. Using the exoplanet as a model, a research team led by Lisa Kaltenegger from the Carl Sagan Institute at Cornell University has modeled the possible climatic and atmospheric states of the exoplanet and explored how the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, could distinguish between them. Its location in its planetary system is similar to Venus's position in our solar system, with both planets positioned at the inner edge of the habitable zone. While Venus became an inhospitable world due to a runaway greenhouse effect, not all planets in similar positions will necessarily follow the same path. Venus lacks a magnetic field, which allows the solar wind to strip away its water molecules. However, if it possesses a strong magnetic field, it may be able to retain water vapor in its atmosphere and maintain habitability. Looking at this planet, will tell us what's happening on the inner edge of the habitable zone. How long a rocky planet can maintain habitability when it starts to get hot, said Kaltenegger in a statement. The team developed models of the exoplanet based on measured parameters such as mass and radius. The models also considered factors such as chemical composition, surface temperature, atmospheric pressure, cloud cover, and more. Five different models were created ranging from an Earth-like planet but hotter to varying degrees of atmospheric water vapor and greenhouse effects, culminating in a model resembling Venus. This planet is the first target where we can test these different scenarios, said Kaltenegger. If it's still a hotter Earth, hot, but with liquid water and conditions for life, then the inner edge of the habitable zone could be teeming with life, speculated the researcher. Another study led by Jonathan Gomez Barrientos from the California Institute of Technology suggests that the JWST could observe it for a few transits across its host star to determine the planet's atmospheric composition. This could provide insights into whether the planet has a steamy, water-rich atmosphere similar to Earth, or if it is more akin to Venus. The observations and analysis of the exoplanet could shed light on the inner edge of habitable zones around stars and the longevity of rocky planets in such regions. Even if the exoplanet proves too hot for life, studying its evolution and fate can provide valuable information about Earth's own future as our Sun continues to evolve and grow brighter. As per Kaltenegger, it will teach us something fundamental about how rocky planets evolve with increasing starlight and about what will one day happen to us and Earth. The research findings were published in two papers in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. 
Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.